Hello, I'm Jean-Marc and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Fisher Delta 3D printer, uh, which is this machine that we have here uh, printing away next to me. I'm the designer of the Fisher Delta 3D printer. It's a 3D printer, but it's actually a RepRap machine, a replicating rapid prototyper. The idea of a RepRap machine is a machine that can print a lot of its own parts. As you can see, the green parts on the machine are actually printed plastic parts. The philosophy behind RepRap is a machine that can not, not only copy a lot of itself, but also which is easy to put together and maintain, so it uses a lot of uh, commonly um, uh, easy to get components, um, things like standard bearings and motors. It's a delta machine. Delta refers to the mechanism which it uses to move the axes around. The the machine was designed um, to be an entry-level 3D printer, that is to say it's um, quite easy to use, um, uh, just a basic 3D printer with a single head, um, easy to put together, easy to use, uh, but still a very capable and very fast 3D printer. Currently the Fisher is supplied in a basic spec, which means that it has one nozzle and one filament feed. The bed is not heated, but is provided with a special build tack print surface which allows the PLA print material to stick to it very well. Of course, we want the printed material to stick to the print surface so that as the part is printed and the material cools, the further the nozzle gets away from the bed, of course, the part will shrink and so we need it to stick to the surface so that it doesn't come away and, and cause issues during printing. So, uh, in the standard form, the, the special print surface allows the machine to print very well, um, but it's limited to, to PLA at this time. In the future, uh, there are possible upgrades uh, coming along, such as a heated bed. Now, this will allow a much broader range of materials to be printed through the Fisher machine. The nozzle itself is designed to go up to at least 300 degrees centigrade, which allows a broad range of thermoplastics to be extruded. Things such as ABS, HIPS, PETG, even polycarbonate can be printed as long as you have a heated bed. Now, the purpose of a heated bed is, again, to allow these, um, this broader range of materials to stick, stick to the print surface uh, and therefore uh, ensure a successful print. The sort of things that one might print with a, a 3D printer of this kind um, range from uh, decorative pieces right through to functional prototypes, um, either for, um, for architects, for example, or, or for engineering purposes, um, for example, modeling brackets or functional parts like mechanical assemblies such as this nut and bolt that we have here can be printed and is functional straight off the machine. And even um, intricate details with this dragon model we have here, you can see the quite fine level of detail and a lot of features are brought out on this model. Although in its current configuration the Fisher is a, a basic 3D printer, it is packed full of quite useful technology. For example, the machine can calibrate itself which means that calibration of the machine is a straightforward task, just click a button and the machine will be ready for printing. In terms of operating the machine, there are no special drivers to install or extra software. The machine itself runs from its own onboard computer which serves a web page, so the machine can be connected to your home network or even to a Wi-Fi router and then operated just through a standard web browser.